Hello and welcome to another video. This time I'm going to be starting with an eddy stone. This is an 870, so it's a fairly oldish model. It only has the four bands, not the five bands as the 870S. It's in quite poor cosmetic condition. The saving grace is the um, traces are okay, the, uh, the band scale. The movement of the pointer, although a bit stiff, is working okay. It has um, different coloured knobs. It's missing the badge. The front side is also quite worn. And basically whatever glue has been used to hold it on is, is packed in. So I mean that needs re respraying and uh, re-lettering somehow. No idea how I'm going to do that one yet. The back side of it um, has already had uh, an IEC connector fitted and the back case has been suitably filed by someone in the past to, uh, to actually allow that to be fitted. The general condition is okay, electrically it's not been changed, it's rather um, grubby inside, could do with a good clean, some uh, wipe down with some solvent, um, probably removing some cigarette tar and stuff like that. Everything has that slight film about it. Um, it is an, a an AC-DC set, that's the ballast resistor on the side and that's subject to something I'm going to talk about in a minute. I have done virtually no tests, it's not been powered up and I'm not going to power it up until I change the capacitors. There's a good reason for that, I'm already seeing um, some of the electrolytics actually expanded underneath so I, I think it's been faulty for a while or leaky for a while. The volume control has already been changed. One section of the switch is no longer wired, fitted. This cap here is one of the uh, electrolytics and the positive side there is bulging out. So what I can is going to get replaced. I think there's about eight paper tubular capacitors in. They're going to get replaced with the modern ceramic type things. and. Um, where I can I shall restuff the main electrolytic here. Uh, the date on that one is April 66 so that gives it a rough age of somewhere a bit later than that probably late 66 early 67. Not a lot else to say I've not tried it as I say I've not tested any valves. It looks in unmolested state otherwise apart from a bit of work that's been done here for the IEC and someone's changed this um, which meant to say it was actually no longer isolated from the front panel with it being bolted on so anything gone to the metalwork here at the side would have been on the front panel and that's my topic of uh, conversation oh sorry I have done one other test I tested across the primary of the output transformer with um, a meter, a um, resistance meter, I could hear a faint crackle on the output uh, on the transformer, so I know the output transformer seems to be okay. Other than that, that's the only test it's done. The case has quite a few scratches, lots of paint splatter, um, faded paint all over it. Again, the odd bit of paint splatter. So what I'm intending to do with the case is to um, sandblast it. I've got a small portable um, sandblasting gun type thing, if I can. I shall take off all the old paint and try and give it a, a new lease of life. The main things I'm going to do is I do not like these. It's no longer required to be an AC-DC set and 
basically everything is on the 110 volt tapping at this end so the balance resistor drops it from 240 volts or 220 volts down to 110 volts um, so typically there is about 25 watts on 240 volt mains dropped across this resistor so as you can imagine that will get quite warm and could lead to quite a bit of heat inside the back of this radio so I have every intention of replacing this whole side panel seeing if I can fabricate a new one with some captive nuts and relatively stuff and fit a transformer this is one I have picked up I don't particularly like this type of arrangement it's a bit clumbersome and quick large but the transformer was cheap enough so if I can replace that with something else I will do well that's a 240 to 110 volt 25VA transformer that probably cost me about oh, 20 quid. So the idea is to, as I say, make a new side panel that doesn't have the fold, doesn't need to, call, uh, to, to carry the balance resistor so I can have a flat sided here which will allow me hopefully to mod to mount that on the inside as I say hopefully without this orange monstrosity on the transformer to make it 240 volt input 110 volt the transformer is fully isolating so that should mean to say I can then put the chassis down to earth and do that on both the internal chassis which is this bit and the external chassis which is this bit if required. Um, as I say there is a, an issue at the present time where there is no oh it's not fitted with the correct volume control so isolation between the inner and outer could be dubious at best. Well, other than that if we can get it to work change all the caps and then take it from there make one of these in the workshop and see what I can do um, the plan is I can still if I can get it right this panel will still be available so someone in the future if everyone wants to get to that stage can always go back but uh, I don't really see a need nowadays for a 240 volt DC powered radio and if I can get it to work and it's a decent little performer then it can come into uh, the room here and become my standard medium wave long wave receiver and up to what's it go up to 18 megs on the short wave band I believe the S goes a bit higher possibly I don't know 26 I'm not quite sure I forgot the specs I do have a circuit for this thankfully all the circuits are available on the internet here we have a circuit the valves the front end is a 12B6 um, which is the oscillator front end first I have amp is a 12 VA6 1286 for V3 which looks like it's a double diode and triode and the output valve V4 is according to this a 19AQ5 which is the audio output V5 here is a 35W4 is the half wave rectification and as I say the idea is I'm going to keep it as a everything else is the same all I'm going to do basically is after the switch and chalk and smoothing uh, noise reduction cap or suppression cap there is basically break that point put the 240 volt primary on there and then wire the 110 volt secondary between the chassis 
and this leg here which will be the 110 volts so well, it'd be fairly simple to put it back if anybody wants to uh, go back to originality but that will all depend on if I can make a decent job out of it and if I make a decent job out of it it will become one of my basic use all, use all the time radios then picked it up from Goldborn last year and it's been sat awaiting my attention the grand total of £10 